Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. The Lord bless you, my dear friends. It's a great pleasure to meet you here again. We thank God for this God-given opportunity. I came here this morning to let you know that there is an appointed time for every God-given promise. There is an appointed time for every God-given promise. If God promised it, he will surely fulfill it. If, if he really gave you that vision, he will surely make sure that it's coming to fulfillment. Allow me to read a scripture from the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verses 3. This is what the word of God says. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak, and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come, and it will not tarry. Dear friends, it is humanly that we have a desire for things to fall in place and place within specific time. It is humanly to want things to fall in time, to be there at their given time. We always desire that life will be fair. We always desire that immediately after college, we secure a job. That afterward, we will be in family, perhaps married in a good and a desirous family, perhaps blessed with children within a specific, a specified time. Perhaps investing, you desire that you will invest in time you desire that you will have time even to travel around the world. Those are desired, uh, desires and we always wish that they, will, they would happen within specified time. The worst will happen, dear friend, when we see some of our associates moving way ahead of us. When we look at them and they appear like they are becoming prosperous, there are things are happening in time and hours are delaying. The word of God has told us that God has an appointed time for every promise. Every promise that God placed on your life, there is a, an appointed time that comes with that. An appointed time for its fulfillment. And therefore, my dear friends, I came here this morning to echo the same words to you, that whatever God promised will surely come to pass. You might be there looking at yourself and things appear like they are not. They appear like they are delaying. You're looking at yourself and you're seeing yourself miles, many miles behind. Your friends have made major steps way ahead of you and you're looking at yourself there you're sympathizing your, with yourself and you're saying when will mine come to its fulfillment let me suggest to you my dear friend this morning perhaps you want to evaluate your, we, uh, your life with God's promises did God promise it is it supported in the word of God if it's supported in the word of God then wait the Bible says that the vision will speak. What God promised will surely come to pass. It might appear that God is late in your time. It might appear that he's not responding. Let me tell you, he might appear like he's late, but he is in time. Rem you remember the story of Mary and Martha. Mary and Martha knew that Jesus was late for their brother Lazarus. And when Jesus appeared, they even reminded him. They said, 
Oh, if you were here, our brother would have not died. If Jesus was here, things would have ne- not taken the worst direction. But he is coming late. He is coming late. That was their cry. But Jesus is never late. We might think that he's late, but he's in his right full time. A few days later, Lazarus was on the same table with Jesus dining. Jesus was not late. He was just within time. Mary and mother thought that Jesus was late, but he was just within time. Dear friends, there is no condition that can be so deteriorated beyond Jesus' repair. There is no case that can be said that this one is written off. There is no circumstances, no situation that can go to a level that Jesus cannot resolve it. And your case is not unique. This morning, I want to encourage you, my dear friend, look up on Jesus. Look up on Jesus. There is an appointed time. There is an appointed time. It might appear like things have delayed. They have they are late. You're you're looking at your your, your life, your years, your many years, and you're saying, I'm late. I'm late for that appointment. I'm late for that assignment. I'm late. Let me suggest to you, my dear friend, that if God promised it, it will surely come to pass. My dear friend, I want to pray with you even as you are bringing this to a close. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for this blessed day. You are reminding us, Lord, that there is an appointed time for every God-given promise. That, Lord, circumstances, situation may speak to us that we are led, that things are not happening. But if you promised, you will surely, you will surely bring the promise that you promise to pass in our life. And therefore, Lord, we pray that, Lord, with peace, would you allow your son, your daughter, to rest assured that you're in control, that you've, you're not, you're not thrown away, that you're not removed from their case. You are still in there, right in their midst of, in the midst of their case. And therefore, as they are going out, we pray that they are going out with peace. They are going out with the peace of the Lord, and that Lord, you're going to show yourself great in their case. We give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you. My name is Philip Odera. Until we meet again, stay blessed. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.